सो गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन टूडेज क्लास इज द मूवमेंट ऑफ ग्राउंड वॉटर एरलियर वी डिस्कस अबाउट टू दैट वट इज द ग्राउंड वॉटर वट इज द अकरेंस ऑफ ग्राउंड वॉटर इन दैट कंटिन्यूस टू दैट वी नो अबाउट टू दैट हाउ द ग्राउंड वॉटर विल बी मूव टू दैट वन प्लेस टू एन अदर प्लेस सो वी आलरेडी नोन सो सर्फेस वाटर आलसो मूविंग टू दैट वन प्लेस टू एन अदर प्लेस बेस्ड ऑन द ग्रेविटेशनल मूवमेंट इन द सिमिलर सिनारियो ग्राउंड वाटर विल बी मूविंग टू दैट वन प्लेस टू एन अदर प्लेस सो बेस्ड ऑन द रॉक कंडीशन सो इन दट कंटेस्ट वी नो अबउट टू दैट वाट आर द कंडीशन विल बी अप्लाइंग टू दैट मूवमेंट ऑफ ग्राउंड वाटर सो सो टू डेज क्लास वी नो अबउट टू दैट so we know about to that ground water also moving to that one place to another place by acceleration is that by gravitational movement so based on the movement will be identified to that based on the some uh, opening uh, one prime uh, openings of rocks so openings of rocks means that a rocks are having two uh, two types of openings is there one is the primary openings another one the secondary openings so primary openings means when the time of rock formations a rock having some structures so like vesicular structures so and the uh, some porous material will be identified based on the sedimentary rocks in that uh, primary openings uh, we call it as uh, primary openings in the secondary openings means after the formation of rock so due to tectonic movement a uh, rocks having some fractured zones and some fault zones will be there occurring so in that places also mo movement will be occurring to that so that is that secondary movement so if you seen into the definition of uh, movement of ground water Uh, the, the ground water per day is the most to that almost uh, the few centimeter uh, few 12 meters to 15 meters it may be considered as the very high movement will be there so most probably so ground water will be moving on to that based on the uh, gravitational movement per day is the few meet a uh, few centimeters to few meters only so not in that so 12 meters to 15 meters if you move it in the 12 to 15 meters it will be considered as very high movement is there so based on the movement uh, they will be consider of the uh, nature of the rocks conditions of the rocks so that we discuss about to that in that context uh, in that context Uh, we know about to that openings of rocks so opening rocks of openings of rocks is the two types so one is the primary openings another one is the secondary openings so primary openings means when the time of rock formations uh, rocks having some pore spaces and intergranular of sedimentary rocks and some having of some cavities of lava lava so it will be called as primary openings and the secondary openings means after formation of rock due to some uh, formation time tectonic movement will be affected on to that the rocks having developed um, some fractures and developed of some joints so some few uh, cracks and fissures at the same time form as the some solutions so these are about to that secondary openings so based on the openings of rocks two types one is the primary openings another one the secondary openings primary openings means when the time of rock formation secondary openings means after formation of rock formation so due to some energies will be releasing onto that so either tensional forces either compressional forces acting on the particular rock body some gaps will be occurring to that so these gaps will be called as joints fractures and fissure veins and porosity so porosity means uh, a uh, severe uh, porosity means when the how much of water will be holding under the particular rock body it's called it as a porosity for example so in the earth consist of different rocks so it is the igneous and metamorphic sedimentary rocks so in that rocks having some pore spaces so pore spaces means for example if you see, if you consider as this is a one rock so because of all are equal grains is there the water will be percolated to that very easily so the water will be percolated very easily so this is the uh, depends on to that porosity conditions so porosity means so when the water will be percolated how much water will be holding on to that particular rock so that's we call it as porosity so sedimentary rocks are having more porosity conditions is there sedimentary rocks are
very high porosity why because of sediment rocks are pre existing rocks the rocks will be developed so the arrangement of to grain to grain so this will be the water will be easily percolated to that so for example if you seen into that porosity conditions so loose unconsolidated material having almost high uh, high percentage of porosity so that is a 50% and the comparatively sediment rock sandstone sandstone is a good reservoir rock so there is a good porosity and permeability is there so the up to 50% porosity conditions is there so remaining 2-3% any fractured zones or uh, fissure veins or cavities so this is the remaining that 2-3% uh, two, two to percent. porosity means how much of water will be stored in that given rock so that is the total volume of rock how will be stored and then the storage of uh, uh, rock is depends on condition is that based on the pore spaces so that is the example of sediment rock sediment rocks are having good pore spaces conditions so they will be easily percolated the, this particular water this particular area in that water so this is about uh, porosity and permeability condition permeability means to transmit the water so for example if the water will be holds to that that is the porosity so the uh, water will be transmit to that one place to another place that will be called as a permeability conditions so in that permeability conditions uh, uh, in that uh, uh, in that rocky areas one area to one area many rocks are not transmit to that because of uh, when the rocks having to that equal grains is there definitely they will be transmitted to one place to another place so when the ro uh, rocks having unequal grains like uh, uh, small small grain uh, sediments will be identified to that like shaley materials the permeability conditions will be very less why because of this area uh, this area uh, when the water will be traveled to that this particular area they cannot to transmit to the downward movement so there will be permeability is very less so permeability means it depends on to that hydraulic gradient so hydraulic gradients means the gravitational movement for example if you seen into that these are the two bore holes the water will be moving on to that one place to another place based on the gravitational movement so any one places will be permeability conditions very less the ground water will be cannot will be uh, transmit to that one place to another place so it depends on to that permeability so when the good permeability conditions is there so definitely the water will be moves into that one place to another place so this is about to that permeability and uh, Darcy's Darcy's law so one of the uh, Darcy's means the one of the scientists will be uh, divine to that so based on the movement of water so based on that uh, uh, hydraulic gradient so they consider as to that so if you observe into the two bore holes so this is the two bore holes there is a located in the uh, different locations and different elevations uh, in that elevations for example if you that consider to that height h1 so this is the height h2 so what are the difference between those two heights they derived from Darcy's law that is that that q is equal to k h k into h by l so q means to that discharge of water q means discharge of water see in that water the flowing will be laminar flow laminar flow means the gravitational flow and uh, k is the permeability so permeability means that how much of water will be transmitted in that in that particular rock body so h by l is that hydraulic gradient h by l is that hydraulic gradients means so def uh, difference between uh, bore hole 1 and bore hole 2 how much of depth will be varied to that one bore hole to another bore hole so that will be called as a hydraulic gradient so they define to that one formula that is the q equal to k into h by l q means discharge of water in it area k is the permeability how much of water will be tra uh, transport uh, transmit to one place to another uh, place h by l is that hydraulic gradient so then they define to that q equal to k into h by l so h by l means the difference between two heights so k uh, k means the laminar flow that is the trans k means to that uh, permeability conditions so this is about to that Darcy's law 
and a specific yield and a specific retention. So, uh, yeah, specific yields means, for other example, uh, in the atmospheric pressures, some water will be uh, drained out to that, one water will be retained to that. So, it depends on the rock nature. So, specific yields means, so for example, in that particular area, how much of water will be drained, so they will be defined to that one formula. Uh, they can be calculated as how much of water will be uh, drained out to that by using of specific yield. So they define to that volume of water drain by total volume of aquifer into 100. So we call it as specific yield. Yield means how much of water will be drained. So in the drain means for example in that uh, gravitational moment some water will be moves on to the downward moment. Some water will be uh, percolate due to the downward movement also, one place to another place. So for example, given volume of rock, how much of water will be drained into 100 and total volume of rock. So retains means how much of water will be added into that particular rock body. So that is the called as how much of water retained by in that given volume of rock into 100. So this is about to that based on the conditions of yielding conditions retention conditions yielding yield, yielding means the water will be drain out retain means the water will be comes into that particular rock body so this is about depends on to that rock nature what are the engineering considerations so uh, based on the uh, above conditions based on the opening of rocks based on the porosity of rocks based on the permeability of rock based on the Darcy's law so based on the specific yield and specific retentions so rocks having uh, different types of conditions is there whether it's the sedimentary rocks is there sedimentary rocks are having to that some pore spaces is there the in the in that sedimentary rocks one place to another place the water will be freely moving on to that based on that uh, because of to that uh, sedimentary rocks are formed so e all are equal grains when the equal grains is there the water will be moving on to that freely in the gravitational moment so be, this is about to that engineering considerations in that uh, cards tropography is the best example for that in the limestone environment they will be identified to that they will be form uh, in the cards, limestone environment any water will be added the water will be formed as to that some cave formations in the simple example to that in that borra caves the borra caves are developed and their material will be limestone material in that place the water will be added so later on to that they form as some cave formations in that contrast so any civil engineer they can know about to that whether it is the irrig uh, uh, irrigation engineer or whether it is the construction of any construction they know about to that what type of groundwater movement conditions is there in particular area then how much which is the place is the available the groundwater which place is the non available of groundwater based on the rock conditions so this is about to that groundwater movement thank you